Okay, you can probably hear there's an ambulance coming up behind, so uh, uh, we've got to get out of his way. Which way is this car going? Okay, left, we're going left. So, today I want to talk about the dual light theory, or the dual light effect. And that's basically where a motorbike is mistaken for a car that's much further away. And the principle on which this works is, if you look at a motorcycle with two front headlights, you're going to see that it has the same appearance as a car that's far away. So when a car is far away at night, you see two lights close together, and when you see a motorbike close up, it's two lights that are close together. So, on first glance, when a car is doing a double check at night, if they're not paying very close attention, they may look at you and assume you're a car in the distance, or their brain will instantly tell them, oh, that's an object that's far away, it's safe to pull out. And that's why quite often a car will pull out directly in front of you at night, because the brain hasn't registered that you're actually a motorbike. Now, today's video, I just want to give a quick tip on how to avoid this, and that is that you should always ride at night with just one light. Obviously, some models of bike won't allow you to do that, but if you change to one light, you've got a far better chance of being recognised as a motorbike and not a car far away. So I'm just going to explain this again for anyone who kind of didn't quite get it. But uh, if you look at a car two or three hundred metres away with its lights on at night, because it's so far away, the lights look small and close together. And if you've got a motorbike that's, say, ten metres away, it has the same light pattern. Two close lights together, but obviously it's much closer. And some people at night will take a quick glance, register it in their brain as a car several hundred metres away, and take the plunge to pull out and think they've got enough time to make their turning, when in fact it's a motorbike at very close range. So I just wanted to make people aware of that, just for anyone who didn't know about it. And of course it is a safety issue, so it's good to spread this awareness. And uh, I hope some of you found this useful. So thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.